Yo, yo, yo! How is everyone? How is everyone? Welcome, welcome. Who's ready for some Forzathon? Hello there, Chad. Hello there, Fire Charger. Hello there, why am I still getting hate? Yeet. Molster. <laughs> How are ya? Yo, Aaron. Alright. Happy Thursday night, or Friday morning, or whatever time it is, wherever you guys are tuning in from. So it is 7.30 p.m. Eastern U.S. time. We have a lot we're going to be doing in this stream. I have a lot of energy right now. I hope this stream lasts a very long time. First thing I guess I'll show everybody real quick, because I know I'm going to get this question pretty quickly. What is in the Forzathon shop for the autumn season? Of course, a ton of stuff that I already have. The Aventador Forza Edition. The 2018 Porsche Cayenne Turbo. And these... Blue biker trousers. Apparently I had all three of them. I don't have the top. I'm not buying the top. I don't care about the top. But those are the cars in the Autumn Forza-thon shop. So this morning at 9.30 a.m. Eastern U.S. time, Forza Horizon 4 switched from summer to autumn. And it's a little, it's a little bit slightly disappointing because summer is pretty awesome. My oil change, it was... It took a lot longer than I was hoping it would take today. I'll be honest, I was out for a long time, but I was hanging out with my friend, and we had a good time chilling together, so. Although the oil change and just the timing of everything took way longer than I was expecting, it all worked out good. I had a fun time hanging out with my friend that I haven't really hung out with too much lately, so. We are going to be doing the Autumn Forzathon Weekly Challenge, which I already posted my guide for this, but I figured I'd do it together with you guys on stream, because... Not only do you guys get to watch me race a little bit by doing these five dirt racing series events, because I have to win those, so I'm going to do that in solo. The final challenge is to drive 10 miles, so I figured, you know what, and uh, I guess they have that in kilometers. Somebody in my Discord was just talking about it, it says 10 miles, but then it's asking for 16,093.4, so I'm going to assume that's in kilometers. Now... When we do the 10 mile drive, I'm going to go into online, and we are all going to cruise around together. And hopefully all of you will have a chance to showcase your 99 Evos. Highly recommend that you download my tune for this car, though. It is for the 04, er, it is, it is in the A-Class 800. I don't know where I was coming up with 04 from, but I think I was talking about the 04 Evo that I also made a tune for, but I ended up liking this one better, so... We're going to get started on this. The first one is Speed Zone. So this is a dirt racing car. We're going to find some dirt racing speed zones. And at the top of the hour at 8 p.m. we're going to be doing Forzathon Live. So for now I'm going to go into Horizon Solo. But we will be going into Horizon Life at the top of the hour for the Forzathon Live. So we took a look at the Forzathon shop. I guess real quick, just for anyone who is unaware. When you go to your cars, get in the 99 Evo. Tune car... And you're going to want to look for load setup. And at the bottom you can search. And you just want to type in creator stevio2175. I'm pretty sure everybody by now knows my gamer tag is the same as my YouTube. If you're new here, now you know. And I just reposted this today because apparently the first time I posted it a few days ago, something happened, it glitched, and it just wasn't able to be used. So there it is again. It is now live. For anyone that was having issues, but hello there, Jonathan. How are you? And honestly, I was worried about saving up Forzathon points again for absolutely no reason because I have everything in here already and I don't care about the clothing. And I'm going to save up a little bit more before I start buying some of the wheel spins, but there you have it. Now, I don't know why I just went off of here because we should look at the world map and find some dirt speed zones. So let's look for the speed zones, we always filter our map, and this one looks pretty good. Our goal is 3 stars, 80 miles per hour. Let's see if we can do it. Now my car, it's not S1, it's not S2, it's an A-class car. But it's very capable. It is very capable, so let's see what we can do here. Now of course it is autumn, it's more slippery than it was in summer when I tuned this thing. But for some reason I have a good feeling about this. 
I'm turning a little bit early. Let's see what we can do. Can we maintain 80 miles per hour? To be honest with you, it's going to be tight, but I think we can do it. Oh, nope. Not with the fences in the way. That's not going to happen with the fences in the way. Wait a minute. I think I'm at the wrong one. That was the wrong one. That was definitely not the one. Wait. Yeah, that one's 95. Okay, so I might have to try that one again, but we're going to go for this one. This is the one I was originally targeting. Okay, let me, let me get a clean start. These fences, I gotta say, I love it because it forces you to really drive clean and stay in the middle of the road, but when you just clip them a little bit, it slows you down so much and it can be really obnoxious. But alright, 80 miles per hour is the goal. Well, there's some big turns here, though. There are some big turns here. I gotta cut corners. I gotta remember my own tips that I gave all you guys the last time we were streaming. And going downhill might be a little bit better for this one, too. Well, this is a tough zone. This is a tough zone. For this car, it's a tough zone. But we're gonna try again downhill, because I think I can make up for the speed on this straightaway here. I think I can do it. Alright, we're gonna try one more time downhill. Ooh, a new personal best. Alright. Sa Kilikev, za. Sup, <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we go. Come on, car. We gotta maintain that speed. We gotta maintain it. Come on. Come on. We're so close. I know it can do it. I know this car can do it. Come on, come on, so close. Oh, I'm just out of the zone. Damn. Damn. Okay. I have not three-starred everything. That's actually something I have not really tried to do yet, but we're going to try right now. I can do it with this car. I know I can. I'm going to challenge myself. I think I have to start at the top, though. Like, going uphill with this car, it's just not going to work. I need a more powerful car uphill. But hey, what are games without a challenge once in a while? I have to be going downhill, though. This zone is impossible with an A-class car uphill. Just simply impossible. So I'm going to try one more time downhill, then we're going to go to that other zone again, because this probably is going to be a little bit tough, and I don't want to be stuck in this for too long, but I do want to challenge my car. I think it can do it. I'm going to start further back this time. But Duffy, we can race. We can race, man. Hey, you challenged me. You said you wanted to race. Whenever you're ready, buddy. Come at me. I'm ready for you. Oh, I'm ready for you, Duffy. Don't you worry. Alright, we got a way better shot this time. I maintained a lot more speed. Come on, go car. Go, 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 go. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Come on, turn, 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 no, please! Oh my gosh, yeah, we were so close. Oh my gosh, that was so close. We had it, we were just at about 80, but I just couldn't hold that turn. That's a pretty tough one for an A-class car, I gotta say. I'm, I'm not even gonna try and deny. That's a pretty tough one, but this one I think we can three-star. I think, I think. That turn's pretty bad right there. Oh, no, I lost too much speed. That was really close, though, again. Okay. This car can do it, and that actually really surprises me that that's my personal best, because I've gone through this zone with some really fast cars. Oh no, not the potato. Please. Please, potato, please. Don't do it. Yeah, cut that corner. Look at that. I might be able to do it from this side. Oh, I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling good about it. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Pew, pew, pew. Three stars! Alright, so I'm just gonna set it as I cannot do the one that's right here, though, because it's way, way just too uphill, and my car's just not quite good enough. Now, this one, I think I can do this one. We're gonna go to this one next. I totally think this can happen.
Ooh, another wheel spin. We might have to open up some wheel spins today, too. I'm, I'm trying to save up. I don't have a ton yet, but by the end of the stream, I might have quite a few. You guys know me. You know that I love my wheel spins, even though they always give me the same clothing that I do not want. That's okay. Alright, here we go, here we go. We're going straight at it. Oh, whoa, whoa, I missed it. I was not unaware of where- oh. Seriously, I hate those things, man. I hate those things, another obnoxious thing. Sometimes that's in the middle of a race and you just kind of have to dodge them all. If you don't, you're just going to lose a ton of speed and get passed by everybody. But I am on the Xbox One S. Alright, here we go, here we go. It's basically a straightaway and then just one kind of sharp turn. I gotta remember it's autumn, so it's a lot more slippery than it was. Oh, that stupid tractor, why is that right there? Dude, oh my gosh. That takes away your corner, that little angle that you can take. Okay, alright. Wait, I got something done. What was- wait, what? Oh, 12 total stars. Man, I forgot how easily you can do that without even trying. Alright, I'm gonna try this one one more time. I wanna try and three-star it with this A-class car, but... We're probably gonna get ready for Forzathon Live, though, because it's 17 minutes away and I still have to invite everybody in here. I've never noticed that glitch. I've never noticed it, but alright. Lame. I forgot I'm in solo, so the Drivatars are just going to try and stop anything that I try to do. Nah, nah, nah. We don't drift around here. I like to grip. That's what I do. Oh, the stupid tractors, bro! Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Lame. They literally put tractors at the corners that you could easily make the speed zone go so well. Alright, last try. Last try. And I hate that too, when you're in a drift zone or any zone, speed zone, whatever, you're ghosted and then the second you finish, you're not. So if you hit into a car like that, like, it, it just doesn't matter. But alright, I think I dodged the drive guitars. Here we go. I gotta remember those damn tractors that they put annoyingly in the way. Maybe I should have downshifted a second there. Maybe I should have. Come on, hold it, hold it! I think we got it! I think we got it! Wait, what? Oh, I thought it was 100. It's 105. Oh my goodness. Alright, whatever. We're done that challenge. We'll take care of that another time with a better car. So we're going to keep saving up the wheel spins, but we are going to get ready for the Forzathon Live. A convoy of blob eyes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, send me a message if you want to be in this Forzathon Live at the top of the hour. Let me actually, real quick, before I do that, I need to actually go into Horizon Life. Always forget to do that. So there we go. Savage Gamer, hello there. I'm doing fantastic. So that should be connecting, and in the meantime... Halo follower, you don't gotta be worried about bothering me. There's an invite for you, an invite for you, invite for everybody. I'm gonna have to probably... make like a convoy and then back out of it, because everyone's going to be in it, so it'll be full, and then I won't be able to invite anybody. But that's alright, as long as we're all in the same session. And I gotta real quick make sure I join it. There we go. Duffy, I will invite you, and we can race right before the Forzathon Live, hopefully. If you're man enough, if you're still up for that challenge. 
I'm gonna have to make a stock car though. I forgot to do that. Didn't do that yet. Everybody can get in. Everybody, send me messages. Bring them on. Send them on over. I will grant you one invite per message. How is everyone tonight, though? How is everyone's Thursday? Let me just real quick leave the convoy. Duffy, to me that really sounds like you're chicken and out. That's what that sounds like to me. Because your brother being on your Xbox, I mean, something tells me that's not a good enough excuse for you to just kind of back off all of a sudden last second. But Savage Gamer, a 99 cent donation, thank you very much. Much appreciated. All right, all right, come on. Everybody get in here. Send all the messages now. I'll check back in a couple minutes. Duffy, you're probably going to tell your... Your brother's probably sleeping right now. You're probably going to wake him up and say, Hey, pretend you're playing the Xbox real quick, because I just... I, I'm scared of Stevio right now. I really don't want to race him. I need an excuse, and this is all I got. So can you... Can you please just hop on here real quick, and he'll probably, like, slap you and be like, you did not just wake me up for this. <laughs> it's okay, Duffy. I totally get it, you know? I'm not hating or anything. I, I just knew you were a little bit scared. You put that challenge out there, I, I just knew you weren't going to be up for the challenge, though. And Subarus are all-wheel drive, so, I mean, if you like to power slide, and you consider that to be, like, drifting, they can be. But they're not really drift cars. Hello there, Peak Gaming. How are you? Mr. Mason Rocco. I actually know a Sal Rocco. Do you know of a Sal Rocco? Oh, Duffy's talking smack now. You know what? You're wrong, Duffy, because guess what? I was hanging out with my friend today from about 9 in the morning until 3 p.m., and I could have been inside on YouTube or playing video games or something like that, but I wasn't. I had to get my car oil change, and I haven't hung out with that friend for a while, so that's what I was doing. It's a nice try, but you're wrong. I like Lancia. They're not my favorite automaker or car brand or anything, but I like Lancia. I think they're very good off-road cars. Hello there, Ayan. How are you? Forzathon Live is starting in 10 minutes. Everybody better get in here and get ready. Hello there, Brannon. How are you? Oh, Aaron. Come on, man. You can't have a broken Xbox. That's not going to do you any good. Well, dank big boy, but got to get in here, man. That's what I like to see. The 99 Evo. You like to drift that thing, don't you? I'm glad that it fixed itself. That's good. How about the sound of this 99 Evo? I hope too many of you didn't motor swap. Hopefully you download my tune and appreciate this car's stockness. Don't you beep at me. No, nobody has to be in a Mitsubishi. That's not going to be until the end of the stream. Once I complete the other Forzathon weekly challenges, when we have to do the 10 mile drive, then everybody's got to be... Wait, what just happened? Oh, two awesome near miss skills. I was going to say, like, what did I just do? That was the daily challenge right there that we got done. Sorry about that one shot. That kind of messed up our little cruise we got going on here.
Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh. I thought that collision was going to be much worse. Oh jeez, people got kicked already? What is with these forts of servers? Yeah, you better, Duffy. You better figure something out. At this point, you see that I called you out, so you just don't want to. Just don't want to take that. Uh, you don't want to take that L. That'd be an automatic L if you didn't race me tonight. Maybe you guys didn't accept my invites when I was in the old convoy, and then I left because I had to make sure that. Everybody could join so the lobby didn't get full, but then it ended up not letting you join because it was a new convoy. Maybe. I don't know. But one shot. I'm in the A class, man. I tuned it for the top of the A class. You're probably in, like, S1. And, Michael, I play in manual. Alright, so where is that Forzathon live at? I have everything taken off of my map. How far away are we? Of course. Of course it's all the way down here. Why? <laughs> but my oil change was good. Like I was telling people earlier, someone else asked me. It took a while. It really took a while. And Quentin, I'm not 100% yet still. I'm still a little bit congested, but I think I improved. I certainly improved. But alright, Duffy. And yeah, the oil change, it took a while, but I got to hang out with my friend that I haven't hung out with for a while, so... It all worked out. It was all good. But we're gonna try and make our way over to the Forzathon Live. We kinda got a ways to go and only six minutes to get there. I might just switch my car, though. That might be a good idea. Top 3% in that speed zone. That's what I like to see. Yeah, we could fast travel, but that's not fun. How are you gonna have fun fast traveling? That's only, like, worst case scenario. We're gonna get into my Lamborghini. How many of you have my Lamborghini Uracon tunes? These were my first tunes that I ever shared right here. These three. I made three different tunes. I think we're gonna get in the blue one. I'm feeling the blue one today. Well, that's fine. You can fast travel. Do what you please. If you want an invite, again, send me a direct message. I'll be sure to get you in here. Oops, sorry. Okay, yep, set the route. Here we go. I forgot it's autumn. It's a little bit more slippery. I gotta get used to that. I'm also used to this faster car because I'm not used to this. Alright, we got five minutes to go eight miles. Can we do it? Here we go! Pew! Oh, the damn mini. Really cramping my style, mini. Really cramping my style. Come on, boys, let's get a move on. Damn traffic, always gotta mess up my driving line. This Lambo is not meant for off-roading. There's the Drift Club that I still have never done. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. Much appreciated. Top 8%? I still remember in Horizon 1, I was top 1% in everything. Because no one could have a better car than anybody else. Everyone had the same cars. If you fully upgraded, they would reach a certain potential and that was it. Times were much more simpler. Much more simpler. 
But all right, we got 3.4 miles to go in three minutes, so something tells me we're doing fine. No need to fast travel. Why not get the skill points? And the driving experience. I will check my invites in just a second once I arrive and whoa! Sometimes you gotta realize that you're just not staying on the road and just dodge the trees like I did right there. My instinct there was just dodge the trees. I wasn't trying to get back on the road right away. Just dodge those trees. Damn traffic, always. <laughs> always messes up my driving line, man. Even if I can't see him going around a turn. In 400 yards, turn right. Turn right. In 400 yards, turn right. Ooh. I just deflected off that tree. That was pretty crazy. Look at that. We still arrived early. A minute 30 to spare. Never doubted myself for a second. All right. Let me get everybody else in here. Keep sending me messages. We got another minute. Now's the time. Once I get out of my messages now, that will be it. Boss? I ain't your boss. <laughs> I'm just your friend, man. I'm not your boss. I hope people don't see me as a boss. Why does he keep kicking people? I don't understand. I'm going to leave the convoy just because I want to make sure everybody can get in here. But alright, that is going to do it. That is going to do it. I see Ayan got the Mercedes from the seasonal event. Very nice. I'll probably be doing that tomorrow. Alright, so this Forzathon is off-road, so I am going to get into something else. Oh, you know what? Yes, this car was really fun the other day when I used it, so we're going to go with this. We are going to go with this. But I noticed, Savage, I noticed. Don't you worry. I noticed. Alright, here we go. Forzathon live time. Pew pew! Alright squad, let's bang it out. Let's save our Forzathon points up. We want to get tons of wheel spins. There's that barn find in case nobody got it yet. One of the barn finds. If you had a rumor there, you're probably going to end up getting the barn find right now when you drive by there like I did. A while back when doing Forzathon. You definitely want an off-road car for this danger sign. It's a really bumpy terrain to get to it. But it is a nice jump. Five eighty nine to kick it off, baby. You can also do this one backwards, so remember that. Remember that you can do this one backwards. Don't waste any distance. Yo, where's everybody at? What is this? I already jumped it once, and here I go a second time, and everybody's just arriving? Come on, people. Let's speed it up. There you go, fire charger. Did it really? I don't see why. Everybody should still be in this session. It shouldn't kick anybody. I guess I can't leave convoys now. I don't know what to do anymore to help <laughs> to get everybody into a session. It's ridiculous. Pew! All right, we're almost done. I'm sorry everyone that got kicked when I left the convoy. I don't understand why it would do that. And that'll do it. Moving on. Go, go, go! Everybody move! Oh, this thing has no top speed. Lame.
What is this again? A speed zone? Oh, that's a tree. That's what that is. I think this is a speed zone. I might have to switch to the Senna for this. Yeah, speed zone. We'll see what this VW can do. It's probably not too good for asphalt. Yeah, no. Definitely not. We're switching to the Senna then. Don't you guys worry. I might actually just try and stick onto the grass on the corner. That might work better. With this car. Except there's no grass to stick onto here. There we go. Alright, Senna time. Let's bring out the X-Class Senna. We got it for a reason. Let's use it. We have it built for a reason. This thing is a monster. I didn't even fully tune this car. This thing is just like a quick tune. It's still a monster. A very nice, an F50. I don't think I have the F50 yet. I was really close. Yeah, this thing, I still need to work on these really slow turns, that's for sure. But Duffy, a $2 donation. Thank you very much. Right after this Forzathon Live, we can do our little 1v1 head-to-head -head race. Alright, let me get more speed going into this. That'll help. Come on, Senna. This thing does not like the speed zone. This thing is a monster at high speeds, but it's not liking this one. We only have like five people doing this, so it might take a little bit longer, but... Oh, the drift zone is going to be punishing with only five people. Actually, we have six people doing this. I'm wrong. I don't know why there's no, like, random people in here, though. Alright, one more lap and we should be good. And we gotta start heading to that drift zone. Ten minutes! Ten minutes! Everybody just go up the drift zone. No reason to come back down. Go up to the drift zone. I'm going to have to switch cars again. Because everything in this particular Forzathon Live is different. And you guys should already know what I'm getting into. My favorite drift car. Can anybody guess it before I get into it? Well, if you guess the orange BMW from the Formula Drift Pack. Mm-hmm-mm. But Trio, we are just doing this for Forzathon. The Evo, the 1999 Evos from that. We're not doing the blob eye. That is when I feel better. And I'm starting to feel better, but... I thought it'd be cool if everybody uses the Forzathon car that we have to use this week. But all right, here we go. I haven't drifted really in a while, so let's see how this goes. Not too good so far. Alright. 
Good practice run. This is going to take a while with only six people. This drift zone actually does take a pretty good amount of time. Usually, at least. I gotta keep putting numbers up like that. 90,000, 100,000. I love the leaves, man. I could have hit that better at the end. I could have done better. Man, see how long this takes though? Like this takes forever if you don't have a lot of people on this one. Let me try second gear here. Let me try second gear, switch it up. Eh, I don't know. I feel like third does a little bit better, but second gear, I feel like I can go faster. It's the only thing. Let's try second and third, depending on the bend that we're at. Let's see what happens here. I will be inviting everybody back a little bit later. I can't really do it right now because this is already going. And after this, I'm going to be doing some more of the weekly challenge. But don't you worry. We're all going to be cruising together at the end. And we'll be doing any more Forzathon lives that we get to at the top of every hour. How many times have I gone through the zone and we are still not done? to do 
soon. Yeah, just keep saving up, Jonathan. You never know when they're going to put something that's going to end up being pretty rare and exclusive and that you can buy a bunch of and then sell them and make a lot of money, so. Three minutes remaining. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that should pretty much conclude it. I'm not even going to run through it again because it's probably going to be done after one or two more people finish it. But there we go. Forzathon Live. Let's get some more of those Forzathon points. Still love this BMW. The only thing about this car that I kind of... I don't know if it's me struggling with it or it's just the way the car is or if I'm just not in the proper gear sometimes, but I feel like I should be maintaining more speed going through the turns. I get a lot of score and I hold really nice drifts, but... That's the one thing. It's the one thing. Should I run this again? I thought we'd be good, but everybody's kind of slugging along here. Right when I enter it, it'll be over. Watch. No? Alright, I guess I'll have to put a few more points up. I thought it'd be good. Right when I'm in the middle of it, it'll end. I promise you. It always happens to me. That's why I don't even bother. See? That's why I don't even bother the last time. That's why I don't even bother. So there we go. Forzathon Live is complete. Finally, that one took a while though. So we're up to 365 Forzathon points. Still not a lot. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and complete or win five Dirt Racing Series events. I'm going to do that in solo since I have to win. But then after that, we'll be doing this together. We'll take, a, take our 99 Evos out for a 10 mile drive and I promise you it'll be a lot longer than a 10 mile drive. We'll do a nice little cruise, maybe some showcasing and obviously I'm sure we're gonna do a little bit of roll racing so we're gonna have a lot of fun at the end but I do want to get this done and I want to showcase my tune for the not for this car because I didn't tune this car for the 99 Evo which I did share and I will show you here in just a second so you can download it it's an amazing A-class dirt racing car I like it better like I've mentioned a few times than the Evo 8 which I also made a tune for but I'm telling you man the Evo 6, or something about this car, it feels really good. But Kimmy, I am glad to hear that. I am glad to hear that. I, the one thing I still don't like, and there it is, the 60 Forza Thon points, I don't like how they took away, basically in Forza Horizon 3, there would be four different levels, and the club would rank them up together, and you would get a credit reward every single week, and apparently that's not a thing anymore. They don't have it like that in this game, but... Peace out for a little bit, Fire Charger. I am going back to solo. And we're going to do five different, probably different, dirt races to showcase what this car can do. We're not going to do the gauntlet because I don't want to do anything crazy that's going to take forever. But you want to filter for that dirt racing series and then we need to win five of those dirt racing series events. So we're going to pick whichever one is closest to us currently and we're right smack dab in the middle of a bunch of them. So... We'll go to this one, straight drive from the festival. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Oh, it feels great to be back in this car. This car just feels so good to drive. I don't know what it is, because it's only an A-class car. It's not like it's that fast or anything crazy, but it's just so fun to drive. It sounds awesome. Love the stock motor.
Okay, and in case anyone doesn't have my tune, do want to show you that real quick. The reason I'm showing you mainly is because I had this tune up and people were downloading it, but then somewhere along the way there was like an issue with it, so I had to repost it today. I basically had to delete the original one, and then this is the same thing, but I just reposted it, so there it is. Definitely recommend you give this a try, and if you're wondering why, well, you're about to find out. So, we're going to do all five of these races on unbeatable difficulty. We're going to do just the normal uh, the normal races that they have set up. We're not going to change anything around. We're going to do it here in the autumn season, but that is fine. You can do whatever you want when we're cruising. You can do whatever you want, but at some point, I think what I want to do, and I'm hoping to get enough people, I really want to do, like, one of those nice, legit cruises, and... I want to go into like drone mode and just have everybody kind of drive by and do some fun different things that I haven't really ever done before. But we are on unbeatable difficulty, just to show you. Which, you should know that though, because I'm going to be starting in 12th place. But, let's see what happens here. In one shot, totally okay. That's how I am too. Now, I have not really raced this car in autumn yet. I've been racing it in summer a lot, so let's see how this goes. And these drive guitars are pissing me off already really early on here. For unbeatable, they don't drive like they're very smart. Why do they always feel the need to bump into me? Like, just keep racing. Don't go and bump into me. Hate that, man. I hate that. And remember, we have to win. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to beat all of these guys in front of me here. Damn drive guitar is always getting in my way. I was a little sloppy there, but it all started with that drive guitar taking away my driving line, and they always do that. That's one of the most frustrating things about racing against unbeatable drive guitars is they always take away your driving line, it seems like. And I actually do not think I'm going to win this one. This is a really short sprint race. And this guy's going to probably bump me. Oh, come on, dude. He, like, stuck to me. Look at... Dude! I had a chance to pull on those guys. That is so annoying. That is so annoying. Oh, my gosh. I swear, I missed so much that perk that was in Forza Horizon 3. Where you could come in first place, or you could start in first place, not where you could come in first place. But it, it just made it so less frustrating to drive against drive guitars, because they just always bump you around, get in your way, and cause you to lose, like right there. Alright, let's move on to this one, since it's right here. Nice little scramble event. We have two accounts? Is that two YouTube accounts, or you mean that you're on two Xbox accounts? But Kimmy, I, I kind of agree with you. When I was running on the gauntlet, I had trouble winning races. This was the first car that I was able to win on the gauntlet on Unbeatable. Like, they're just... I don't know. When you start in the back, it's just so hard to catch up to the front people that never have to deal with anything. They just keep going, and you have to deal with all the other stupid ones that drive into you and stuff. But alright. That was my warm-up race. Now there's no excuses. No excuses for a loss anymore. Even though I just lagged really hard and the drive guitars just bumped me around, but we're still not going to use that as an excuse. 
How am I lagging in solo? Did you guys see that on the screen just now? Like, the game just, like, froze for a pretty good second and completely messed up my driving, and now everything's just going to crap. Oh, boy. I got a long comeback ahead of me here. Don't worry, plenty of time. Get out of my way. I gotta say, I feel like they made the drive avatars even more difficult on Unbeatable than they were before. I don't know exactly how they make the cars unbeatable versus like pro and stuff, but I feel like they do take characteristics from the actual gamer tags that you're racing against. I really do feel like they do that. Because people always tell me all the time that my drive avatar for some reason seemed more difficult than like other people's, and I never understood that. And I thought about that, I was like, maybe that's why. Maybe they actually tried to, like, derive the driving habits of these drive avatars from the actual players and stuff. Now, if that's true or not, I have no idea. And they just always have to get in my way right there. I hate that. I could swerve through past all of them, and they just always have to get in my way. Alright, one lap to go, we're in third place. I like where I'm at. Now it's just about executing and making the right decisions. Subaru, get the hell off me. I swear, if you bump me... Yo, why is my game jittering like that? That's the second time now. That is so frustrating. I know everybody just saw that. That update, dude. Update 5 has been the worst update in this game. They have ruined so many things in this game. Like, so many other glitches have come into this now. I mean, for crying out loud, my game had no sound the other time when I got on. My menus had sound, but there was no car sounds, no ambient noises, no, no driving sounds at all. I was like, seriously? It's now or never. Pew! Yo, Lail, how have you been? I haven't seen you on the streams for a while. I do remember your name, though. That means you were on previous streams quite a bit. That's right, Brett. You know it. You know it. So there's one W. Now, I got gypped on the first one. We gotta keep getting wins, though. And I wanna do different races. I don't wanna do the same ones over and over. We gotta switch it up. We'll do this one next. Very nice, Leo. Very nice. You still loving Forza Horizon 4?
Uh, Max, to be honest with you, yes, there are a bunch of different cars that I'd like to see come into the game. And a lot of them are cars that used to be in some of the older Forza games that just have left for whatever reason slowly over time. And I do plan on kind of covering some of those at some point and going back to some of those older games and playing with them kind of to show people some of the cars that I want to see come in. But the thing is, too, you don't know what they have planned. I mean, they have tons of different things planned. And uh, that could be one of them, Dank. That could be one of them. I'm not going to say anything, though. The thing is, who knows if that's actually going to come back. I, I have no idea if, if that's going to be a possibility, but it would be nice to see. And we will certainly see what happens. I got to just weave around these drive guitars because they're just so annoying. I don't know this race. This is a pretty new race to me. I don't know this race at all. Get out of here, Drive Guitar. Don't mess with me. Ooh, a nice straightaway. I like it. Probably wouldn't even be able to tell at this point that it's unbeatable. Once I'm in first place, I'm so much more comfortable racing. When I'm not in first place, I just make a lot of stupid moves. I've noticed that about myself. One thing I need to work on, I gotta be more calm and patient. I try and just get in first as quick as possible and I kinda just do things that are not necessary and end up slowing myself down and things like that. What I was saying earlier about how this tune is like amazing and against unbeatable drive guitars, well now you're seeing it finally now that I got my feel for this car. And I've gotten out here in some of these scrambles. I think it's a really good scramble car. I like it better for scrambles than I do sprints because it doesn't have quite the top end that some cars do. But it's got really good acceleration like 0 to 100 and it's just awesome for scramble events. Dirt scramble events that is. Oh no, please don't miss the checkpoint. Oh, that was so close. Woo! That was scary. On the third lap, too. Do you imagine? There we go, baby. Yeah, Lancias are very good cars. They really are. I remember using that in Forza Horizon 2, and I loved it. And speaking of which, there was one about to go by me. So let's find another one to do. Let's do this one. Hope everyone's getting their Evo 6s ready for this cruise, though. That's the part of this stream that I'm most excited for. For everybody to get together, showcase their Evo 6s, drive them around together. Maybe do some roll racing if cars have similar upgrades and car classes.
You don't have enough money to get my tune? Come on, man. What have you been doing with all your cash? This thing is just so fluid, though, to drive. Like, just cruising around on the asphalt, it's so fluid. Until you hit rocks like that. That doesn't really uh, show the fluidity of the car at all. And what happened to Duffy? He really chickened out. He wanted to race me, he's challenging me and everything, and look, he's not even anywhere to be found now. <laughs> I'm not judging you, man. I'm just messing. I'm just messing, don't worry. Alright, let's get this next race rolling. Yo, Ellie Soto, how are you? Welcome back to the stream. Alright, hopefully we can win this one, keep this moving along here. It sucks that I lost that first race. Oh, this race, I remember this race. This one's actually pretty tough, too. This is one of the first races you do in this game. I don't know if I've ever done this race in autumn. Always getting my way around the turns and always gotta push me. Can't ever just do their own thing. Look, every time. Every time. Stop it. All right, third place, we're getting close to the third lap. Gonna have to make a play on these guys. Gonna have to do something. Oh, that's not good, going into the fence. That's not gonna help. All right, come on, come on. Come on, Evo, don't let me down, buddy. Might have to T-bone him. Might have to do it. Oh, I missed him, no! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I can't believe I missed him. I'm gonna have to T-bone him on this one. There's no way I'm winning if I don't. Get out of here! Gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta do what you gotta do. Nothing wrong with being aggressive against Drivatars. Nobody likes Drivatars. <laughs> Thank you, Brett. I knew you had confidence in me. Did you see the lap times, though? I had, like, two seconds better on the best lap time, and yet I barely won because they just start in front of me. It's redonkulous. You have to hit them. You literally, like, have to sometimes. If you don't, there is no way to win. Because the guys that start up front, they're just free sailing the whole way. That's why I really missed that perk from Forza Horizon 3. And why has it got to open one of my wheel spins? Did I see an Aventador in there? 
For some reason, I feel like I saw an Aventador, but how did I know? I saw those in the beginning. I was like, that's the one. That's going to be my wheel spin. But, uh, oh, my. And you know what, Lail? I never went back on to Fortune Island to do those races. I never did those long ones yet. Well, let me see. Where are we at? I think we're at three or four. So we are at three. We're going to have to do two more. And I think we're going to move over to... I think I might just start fast traveling. Which ones do I want to do? Though? I want to do something different. Uh, let's do this one. I like doing scrambles. I, for some reason, dirt racing wise, I enjoy doing scrambles more than I do the trail slash sprint racing. Does everyone have their Evo 8s ready? But one shot I can show you in just a second. You gotta go to like tunes and then there's a little section where you pull it up and it'll say like share tune and you just upload it there. But I'll, I'll show you after this race so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Much easier to see. Oh, you know what? I remember this race. I know this race. We had a lot of fun with this one on stream. I had to really T-bone a drive guitar. Get out of here. Oh my gosh. Poor Evo 8, man. It has such tough competition between Subarus and Lancias. Any of the Evos. Especially the newer, the newest of the Evos, though. Look at them all trying to break. That was awful breaking. What is this guy in? What the hell car is this? Then we got the 22B, and I think that's an Audi. Alright, give me that first place. Give me that. Oh, it's a battle. Oh, I got the longer gears, baby. I got the longer gears. Can't touch this. Get out of here. I'm going to take first place. Look at that braking ability. Those are some impressive brakes in the rain. Now I can drive with confidence that I'm in first. It only took one lap. I'm telling you guys, this tune... I guess I should correct my description and say that it's best for scrambles. I should try a sprint race for the final one, though. Because maybe I was just not used to the car for that first race and I was off a little bit and just had bad luck. But generally, man, unbeatable drive guitars, I never lose with this thing. I mean, look at the lead that I have on them, and I started in 12th place. This is the 1999 Evo 6. I may have said something wrong because I still have Evo 8 stuck in my head from when I made that tune like a week or two ago. My apologies if I did screw that up somewhere along the way here.
Look at the lead that I have, though. This is on unbeatable. It amazes me how sometimes I can't beat them, and then other times I'm this far ahead. It's like, what? How does that work? I'm locked in, though. You guys can probably tell I'm very focused, because I'm, like, hardly talking. Except for that turn, I kind of messed that up. Fire Charger? I have no idea. Probably just some weird glitch or something like that. Alright, there we go. Ooh, another wheel spin. Is it going to open it for me? Don't do it. I don't want to see it right now. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Good, good, good. Alright, one more race. And then we will be starting our 99 Evo Cruise. Everybody get your 99 Evos ready. Your Forzathon car, we got one more to do here, and then we're just going to cruise around to finish off that. So we're going to do a sprint, or a trail race as they call it. I don't know which one I want to do though. Should we do this one? Let's do this one, I'll just fast travel. Oh, one shot, let me show you, my bad. My bad, I almost forgot. Glad you commented there, I would have forgot, I'll show you. So once you tune your car and everything, you know, you can do this in the garage or you can do it from right here. You just go over to cars, then tune car, and then at the bottom left, you can't see it because of the uh, the mixer stream thing that's covering it at the bottom. But you hit the back button on your Xbox controller to set up manager, that's what will pop up, and then you just hit save setup, and then that will kind of take you through how to do it there. And then load setup is how you download tunes, obviously. So it's all in the same spot. But okay, here we go. Going for the final win. Challenging myself, though, on a sprint one. Because for some reason I seem to struggle. Of course, we only have one sample race to demonstrate that. But not a problem, one shot. Not a problem. All right, let's get it. No time to waste. And actually, what we'll start out with is Forzathon Live. You can use whatever car you want for that, though. You don't have to be in the 99 Evo. Get off me. You guys know I hate when you do that. Oh, I hate this part of the race, man. Get out of here, Drivatars. Get out of here. Dude, this does not feel anything like unbeatable at this point. Oh my gosh. I guess I just got my feel for this thing. The first race, I must have just not been used to it because I hadn't been using it. Now I'm just killing it. I don't want to get too confident. It's not over. Plenty of time in this race. See, there I go flying through the sky all in weird directions. I have a huge lead. Can't even see him on the mini-map. There's a really big sharp turn coming up. I'm starting to remember the races in this game a little bit. We are in really good shape here. Just gotta finish it off. I remember when I raced this last time, I messed up a couple of these turns here, so hopefully I don't do that again.
Uh-oh. Uh-oh, they're really catching me around those turns. Uh-oh. He's reeling. He's reeling me. Come on, Charlie. Pew! Aw, oh, Brett, I'm sorry to hear that, man. I'm sorry to hear that. But all right, get ready. I'm going to start inviting people shortly for the next Forzathon Live at 9 p.m. And there it is. Red versus blue completed. So let me make sure I invite everybody. Send me a message if you need an invite. But Dank, don't worry, we gotta do the Forzathon live at 9, and then we will start doing the cruise. But let me get into a Horizon Life session first, so I can invite everybody. Then we will get this going. Favorite food is steak, Aaron, by far. Alright, hopefully the connections are going to be good and fast and everything's going to work. That is the main thing for this to be successful. No, I didn't want to mute him. Why, Xbox? Why do you always try and make me mute people? I don't get it. Oh, I'm ready to race. I am ready. Okay, there we go. Just give me one second here, guys. Did everybody make it in okay? Or is everybody making it in okay, I should say? Everybody sounds like they're ready for some Forzathon live. I'm gonna switch cars. I think we're gonna get back in my Lamborghini Huracan. We'll get in the yellow one this time. Why not? We'll get in the yellow one. But alright, thank. Glad to hear it. And actually, I'm going to have to go to the garage because i got to race Duffy real quick. First, let me see where the Forzathon Live is, maybe. Oh, perfect. Okay. Absolutely perfect. So we can start heading over there. 
sharp left. Turn sharp left. Well, I almost got the chickens. I almost got them. <laughs> Those damn rocks, man. Alright, Duffy, get in here. I'm switching to my Honda. Alright, Kimmy, I think there should be. Well, I got a few messages here, so I don't know which one's going to be first, but... There you go. There you go. And another one. Zoe Zay. And another one. All right, Duffy. I hope you're ready. Send me a message, Duffy. What are you doing? What, you think I'm just going to be able to send you an invite? I, I'm pretty sure I already sent you one, man. What, what are you doing? Come on, Duff. Come on, man. Can't be throwing challenges at me and then not joining my invites. I feel like you're dodging again. Mmm. Those look tasty, don't they? Those look real tasty. All right, Duffy. I'll reset it to stock. Guess I gotta throw my tune away. You know what? I'm gonna s save this tune real quick. Here, I'll call it the Duffy. What happened? There we go. There's the Duffy. I don't know, what is this car? Uh... <laughs> I have no idea what this thing is. Here, top speed, average. And we're gonna call this description... Because Duffy. There we go. There it is. There it is, everybody. The Duffy. Now we're going to reset it to default upgrades, because he wants to race me in a C-Class, apparently. And sorry, Lucas, I do not talk or speak Russian. Alright, Duffy, where are you? I'm ready for you. Yeah, hey. I'm sending you an invite. Do you see it? You must accept the invite, Duffy. <laughs> But tonight it's the 99 Evo Cruise. Don't worry, we're gonna have more cruises in the future. Oh, Duffy, why'd you make me do this? Make them Horizon Convoy Leader? What do they think, I'm crazy? I can't make Duffy the Convoy Leader. Duffy, what kind of sick shenanigans are you pulling here? We gotta hurry up, Duffy. If we wanna do this race before Forzathon Live, we only got two and a half minutes. Better figure out a way to get in here. So wait a minute, you're in my convoy. Oh, so you're in a B class, huh? So I have to be in a stock, but you're in a B class. Hmm. Interesting. I find that very interesting. Why can't you get in here, Duffy? What's going on? Why is it telling me that I have to make you the convoy leader? That certainly ain't happening. Here, try again. We'll figure it's we'll we'll settle this after Forzathon Live. For now I'm getting back in my Forzathon Live car. My Lamborghini Uricon. I gotta tune up the Mosler sometime. Everybody loves that thing. 
see what it's all about. Um, you know what I'll probably do for these cruises, since a lot of people seem to have requests? I'll pick five of my favorite ideas, and then I'll make a poll on my community tab, and we'll have to have a little voting going on. I think that's the only fair way to do it. Man, nobody has my tunes for this Urukan. You people are missing out. I gotta say, you people are really missing out. You have to be level 18? Wait a minute. Duffy, are you not even... I thought he was Prestige 1. Duffy, how are you only level 4? <laughs> what are you doing with yourself, man? My club or crew name is the Pew Pew Crew. Well, Duffy, looks like you're going to have to get on my level, bro. That's the only way you're going to be able to race me. I just don't get how you're only level 4. You've had this game for a while now. Here we go, boys. Skill score. Oh no, please don't flip. Please don't flip. Oh, I got so lucky there. That was such a smooth landing. I got so lucky. Oh crap, I went out of the zone. I didn't even realize. I was just having so much fun. I wasn't even paying attention to the zone. Must get back to zone. Oh, no, 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 no! Woo! Oh, that was way too close. Alright, time to bank. It is time to bank. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, so close. Come on, guys. Somebody bank. Somebody else bank. We were so close there. What's next? Where is it? Oh, no, I can't. I can't turn. What is this, a drift zone? Oh gosh. This Lambo ain't made for drifting. What are you guys doing? I mean, that was, that was a pretty good score, considering that I have no drift tune on this thing. This is a race tune, but I'm going to switch to a drift car now. No reason not to. Let's try one of the different formula drift cars. Let's try one of the different ones. What do we got here? What do we got? We are going to go with... If I can find it and not go past it. We're going to go with... Which, which one was my favorite? I can't even remember. Let's go with this one. I think this one will work. Yo, Steve. Mr. Steve Carroll. How are you? There's that Carell.
Whoa, somebody just flew right off of here. I mean, considering my Lamborghini only did like 12,000 worse than that, not bad. Not bad for a Lamborghini. For a race tune Lamborghini, that is. I'm not really feeling this car, to be honest, for this particular zone. This one I feel like would be better for, like, tighter zones. This one's too wide open. I uh, keep catching the grass just a little bit. Danger sign. Oh, boy. Switch cars again. Switch cars again. Let's get back in the Lambo. I wish there was a quicker way to go through this. That's the only thing. I wish there was a little bit quicker of a way to go through that to switch your car. It would be cool if you could, like, talk. Just say, like, hey, get me in the Lamborghini Hoover car. Um. <laughs> but Tuffy, it's all good. Thank you for here. Final, I'm going to assume, $2 donation. You got to rank yourself up, buddy. Remember this jump. Is there a quicker way? What's the quicker way? Select, you said? Oh, I didn't even hit it? Oh, come on, man. My car would not turn. The Lambo don't like the water. Yeah, are you kidding me right now? I mean, I know it doesn't like the water, but damn. I'm struggle bussing. Dude, this thing literally does not want to move. Oh my goodness. I wonder if that was a glitch or what, because that was really a little excessive. <laughs> And I missed the danger sign going up because I couldn't see anything. You can hit that one backwards. I just want to nail this once because I kind of messed up this one really bad, but... Come on, Lambo, work with me. There we go. Maybe it just really wanted a good bath. Maybe that's what it was. I swear that was a glitch though, because my car was like, just behaving very weird. I think I'm gonna hit this, I think. Yep, there I go, look at that. Look at that distance. 221 backwards, not bad, not bad. And there's a building. If I go too far, I'm not gonna be able to get this again. That should just about do it. I guess I could have went a little further back. I figured they'd be done, but there it is. Good night, Duffy. You have yourself a great night. I mean, I wouldn't say that's much quicker. You still got to scroll through all this. I meant, like, that part. You don't have to scroll through and all that. But okay, so, 
it is time for the final part of the Forzathon Weekly Challenge, and I'm really surprised, honestly, that I didn't get a ton of questions every five minutes about what's in the Forzathon chat, what's in the Forzathon chat. The last time I did something like this, everybody kept asking me over and over and over. But there it is. The Aventador Forza Edition and the Cayenne Turbo. So, we're saving up some Forza Thun points. I will get some wheel spins eventually, but it probably will not be tonight. So everybody now needs to get into their 1999 Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 6s. And we are going to have a nice little Evo 6 cruise. So you're saying to do this, you think this is quicker just going through here like this? Eh, I guess it could, it's probably quicker. I, I do agree with you, it's definitely quicker actually. That's just a feature I've never really utilized before, so. Thank you for mentioning that to me. I'm probably not going to remember to do that when it comes to the situation again, but. Dude, Wes, the Evo 6 is nice, man. I don't know what class yours is in, but I made an A-class tune and it's pretty dominant. It's pretty dominant. I still have to drive this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. I've only driven this one and this one, and I made two A-class tunes for both of them. So probably, honestly, I'm just going to make an A-class for all of them, because then that way I can compare them and see how they are. I definitely like the 1999 Evo 6 more than the Evo 8 that I made. Now, could I have built this one differently and liked it more? Maybe. I mean, the thing is, this thing makes more power, 547, 462 to 451, 390, but this one weighs a little bit less, certainly handles better. The only thing that this car has over this one is top end, but down in the first few gears, which are the most important ones when dirt racing, the Evo 6 is dominant. But when you look at the horsepower numbers, it's like, wait, what? You like this car better than that car? And yeah, I do, believe it or not. But... I am actually pretty excited to see what everyone has done with their Evo 6s. And we're going to do some roll racing. We're going to do some head-to-head -head racing. And we're just going to cruise around and have a good time, showcase each other's cars. So I guess the starting point is going to be... We'll make it the Horizon Festival. Why not? Whoops, whoops, whoops. We'll start the Horizon Festival and have a nice, nice long tune around the map. Nice long... Cruise with all our tune cars is what I meant to say. Hopefully everyone has theirs tuned or downloaded my tune worst case scenario. And Dark Knight, I would have just bought the Ultimate Edition if you were planning on playing this game a lot and getting all the cars, playing all the expansions. If you're going to be really into this game, just get the Ultimate Edition. Just rank up to the Ultimate Edition, just buy that instead because... Buying just the car pack is really just not worth it compared to that. Because you get all the expansions and all the other stuff, so that's what I would recommend doing. <laughs> but, but, uh, love you too, Dank Dead. Appreciate it, man. Seeing lots of unique builds already. Not a problem though, not a problem. If you need an invite, let me know. We're definitely going to fill this up. Send me a direct message though. It's the only way that I'm going to be able to go to your profiles. Should I open them? Should I open the wheel spins or should I save them? Should I keep saving them up and open like a ton? I'm thinking about saving them at the same time. I just, you guys know me. I love, I love just opening them, seeing what I can get. Yo, Fox Body, how are you? Yeah, there's a lot of different cars you can make good for the A class, but for dirt racing, man, I love this one. This one is awesome.
<laughs> yeah, man. If you can win with front wheel drive or rear wheel drive, that's when you know that you're a good driver and that also that you tune the car well. Come on, guys, I'm trying to park. <laughs> guys better not knock over my shrubs. Don't you be knocking over my shrubs. Wow. Wow, just plowing right over my lawn. Oh my gosh. Wow, you're, you're just cruel, man. <laughs> Everybody line up real nice on my right. Everybody line up real nice on my right. Can take up both lanes, that's fine. We don't care about traffic here. But sad Terminator, let me take a look at your ride. Where are you at? There you are. Oh yeah, I saw you earlier, man. That one stood out to me. I do like that a lot. Line up in the street, guys. Line up in the street. Not on my lawn. You guys destroyed all my shrubs and I'm really not happy about it. That's coming out of your tax return. A very nice West. A lot of people did apparently. I, I saw myself talked about somewhere on the Forza forums and everything. It was uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool how so many people ended up using my tune for that rip rod. Yo, come on guys, we gotta get in line. Park like this on the street, ready? Just like this, line up. But back behind me. Line it up, gents. Line it up. Just gonna take out the rest of my shrubs since you guys destroyed my property. <laughs> if anyone else wants an invite, we've still got two more spots to so send me a message. In the meantime, we're gonna see what we get here. I can't wait any longer. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Big chunk of money. If I go one tick off of the Aventador SV again, I'm, I think I'm done. Ooh, okay. 2015 Camaro Z28. Not bad. Yes, Eddie, you can. You just gotta join, man. I don't have to invite you or anything. Well, that is the worst wheel spin so far, but it was not clothing, so that's a good thing. Uh... Okay, that might be tied for the worst. What's the last one going to be? I don't think anything good is in here. Oh my gosh. Wow, a thousand credits. Thank you so much, game. Okay, do we have any more messages? Yes, we do. I think we still got two spots left. My Xbox is being, like, so laggy, it just skips. Alright, and once you guys get in here, just line it up. Man, you guys are a mess. You guys are a mess. This is gonna be the worst cruise ever. <laughs> but, Eddie, just so you, in case you didn't know what my club was. The Pew Pew Crew. Just gotta search for that. 
It is open to the public. We are ranked under 250,000. Yeah, unfortunately, we can only have 12 people in the convoy, and I'm not really sure if I can invite anybody just to be in the session. That's the annoying thing. And if I leave the convoy, then it's just like... Seems to kick everyone. But there's still so much spots. Like, I want to fill up this whole lobby. Does anyone know how to invite to the game but not the convoy? Because... It never lets me do that. It never lets me invite anybody. But alright. Is everyone here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm eleven. I think we're missing one person. And he is coming. There he is. I see his name through the house. Line up. Get in line, buddy. You know, Nick Zile, you gotta chill in that throttle, buddy. Alright, game and fam of, you gotta get into the 1999 Mitsubishi Evo. Oh, is that one car a traffic car? Triel, you still gotta get over here, don't you? Where are you at? I don't see your gamer tag here. Can you not fast travel or maybe fast travel to the auto show? The freeway. Let's go here and go to festival. <laughs> yeah, that Volkswagen ended up in a bad spot. Ended up in a real bad spot. Hey, gaming fam. What are you doing, man? That's the Evo 8. You gotta get into the 99 Evo 6. So we can get this cruise a-rolling. Trio will be over here soon. It is morning. We're going to have a nice Sunday morning cruise. There's Treel. Hey, Gaiman. Come on, man. You got to get in the 99. Don't make me boot you. I don't want to have to boot you. He's not listening, guys. I'm going to have to get rid of him. We got one more spot if anybody didn't get in. Because this person is not listening. I gave you an opportunity. Gave you a bunch of opportunities. You got to follow the rules of the cruise. So what do we got here? We've got a bunch of A classes. I'm assuming those are my tunes. An S2. A couple S1s. I like those S1 builds because they're probably stock motor. This one one shot, you're probably in a motor swapped. I think you have to be in a motor swapped for that. Alright, it's not going to work. <laughs> I think we're going to be full anyway, so I apologize.
Alright, where are you at? Where are you at, 12th man? You close? Old Donut, do you come in? Are you close? All right, we're going to have to start the cruise with Adam. Trio, get in line. Whoa! Whoa! Give you a spanking for that. <laughs> All right, let's get this going. Pew, pew, pew! <laughs> I'm awful at, co at uh, <laughs> driving in cockpit view, man. Oh, of course it's the S2. Why did it... What is going on? Why did it take us so far away from the road? Oh my goodness, I almost did a barrel roll. Well, that's not going well. <laughs> Why did it put us all the way over here? Like, I don't understand. What kind of head-to-head -head race was that? That was some trash. Well, obviously. Thanks, Forza. Thanks for that. You wanted this. Yo, come on, bro. Oh my goodness. Lame. I can't get a clean head-to-head -head race, man. That's all I want.
All right, all right, all right. So let's. What, here's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna get two rows, one in the right lane, one in the left lane. Everybody line up, just kind of like how we did in the beginning, but just two rows. One row in the left lane, one row in the right lane. And then once everybody's lined up, we're gonna do some roll racing. Everybody's gonna go against each other at one point or another. We gotta get everybody in line here. Everybody get in line. I've disabled head to head for you. If you want to re-enable head to head, just let me know. Why would you disenable head to head? What is what is she thinking? I don't even remember where to do that. Oh, why did it do that? Are you kidding me? Wait, do I have to maybe just ask her? And it, I can't see because of the stupid. Wait. Wait. Nope, not what I wanted to do. Nope, not what I want to do. I can't see because of the mixer thing down there. Nope, don't want to do that either. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so apparently none of that's gonna fix it. I don't remember how to change the head-to-head. -head. I thought that was like a simple setting. Here, I just don't get why she just took off head-to-head -head racing. That's exactly what I want to start doing. Oh, here, it is enabled. What the hell? I don't understand why she just said that. But all right, are we ready to go? Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. A nice cruise. A nice cruise. And then we're going to start roll racing. Oh, yeah? There we go. Challenge of arrival is complete. The first race. Everybody else stay behind. When we're racing, everybody else has to stay behind. That's how roll racing works. Don't be playing dirty. Don't do that. Wow, that's how we're gonna play it, huh? We're gonna play dirty, all right. We're doing a rematch. What is going on? What is this? Are you serious? Why does it always do this when we do head to head, Geo? The head to heads are so screwed up online. Oh my gosh. Alright, forget head to heads. We're just gonna do roll races. These head to heads are crap. Lame.
Yeah, thanks, Forza. I know. I lost because you put me into a building again. Thank you. Alright, here, no. Forget forget the head-to-head -head races. They always do stupid stuff. So we're just gonna do some drag racing and some roll racing. Alright, me and Sad Terminator first. Everybody else stay behind. Stop bumping. Alright, one shot. You gotta move. Me and Sad Terminator trying to race. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let us race, please. Stay behind us. Stay behind us. You gotta stay behind us. Stay behind us. There we go. See, that's good. Nick, why do you gotta keep bumping me, man? Stop that. Alright. Sad Terminator on the third beep. That is when you go. And no, don't listen to their beeps. Listen to my pew pew pew! Third beep from my car. Ready? Alright, let's try a roll now. Let's try a roll now, Sad. Slow down, Sad. Slow down. Third gear roll. Third gear roll. Let's do like a... Eh, second gear. Let's do a 50 roll. Same thing. Third beep. All right, who wants it next? Drag race, Nick? In a GHCS, we will probably switch after the next Forzathon Live. We'll do Forzathon Live at 10 o'clock. We'll switch convoys. I'll start a new one. Just send me messages now if you're not currently in here. And then we will do probably one more Forzathon live after that, and that'll be the end of the stream. But alright, Nick, you ready? Third beep. Want a roll race? Whoa! That is such cheating. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Peek? <laughs> Man. <laughs> That's pretty funny, though, not gonna lie. 
Here, turn around, Nick. Turn around. Try that one more time. <laughs> Yo, come on, man. When we're racing, you gotta let us race. Stop bumping us, get in front of us. You gotta stay behind us, let us race. All right, Nick, one more. We gotta redo that. We gotta make it clean. We gotta make it clean. Come on, Neve Killer, stop bumping them, please. Neef, this isn't your race, man. Come on. All right, you got me on that one. That was a good race, Nick. That was a good race. But peace out, Fire Charger. All right. Now let's see Nick and Neef Killer race. I want to see Nick and Neef Killer race because they kept bumping each other. They got a score to settle. You two take the front. Neef Killer and Nick. Let's see you guys do a roll race. Go ahead. I'll do the I'll do the beeping. I'll be right behind you guys. Ooh. And everybody loves taking each other out. Yeah, it's good races, man. Alright, Nick and Eve killer. All right, ready? Nobody hit them. Nobody hit them. Stop. Let Neef and Nick go. All right, listen for the third beep. Listen for the third beep. Ready? Ooh, Neef Killer's destroying. <laughs> He's got a quick one. All right, Neef. I'm gonna have to take a look at the convoy quick. I want to see two people that were in S1. I remember there was two people in S1. But I know, Kimmy. I know. <laughs> we gotta learn how to cruise clean. We shouldn't be bumping each other. Uh oh. We got a Lambo here. All right, so we can get two more people in here. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, so... Peak Gaming and 
Wool Donut. I want to see you two race. S1861, S1862. So you two get ahead of us, I'll beep. I want to see what happens between you two. And everybody else, stay behind. Don't bump them. Start moving, though. Not drag race. Roll race. Get in front, guys. Get in front. Alright, listen for the beeps. Listen for the beeps. Three beeps on the third beep you go. Nick, stay behind him. Everybody stay behind him. Or not. Or just bump everybody. <laughs> Nick, stop bumping him. We gotta let him race. All right, listen for the third beep. Okay, that was not a clean start at all. Should we do it? Redo it. Should we do it? Or not. <laughs> Man, we're awful at this. We're awful at cruising. <laughs> I don't know what the heck just happened there. That was so weird. Hello there, Tyler. How are you, sir? Alright, so we're going to try that one more time. I just want to make sure I got the gamer tags right again. I think it was... Peak Gaming and Wool Donut. You two. I got Peak. Alright. Get out in front again, and everybody stay behind them, don't hit into anybody, let's get a nice little roll race going here. Everybody stay behind them, let them race, let them race. Neef, behind. Nick, stop hitting them. All right, third beep. All right, Pete Gaming gets the first one. He had a big launch there. I'm pretty good, Tyler. I'm pretty good. Just trying to get this convoy organized. Everybody's very bumpy and jittery. Can't get any clean races going. Alright, Treel, you and me. You and me, Treel. Come here. Third beep. <laughs> Trio's way quicker than me.
All right, last try for this, and then we're gonna try some team racing. <laughs> yeah, that was so close. Oh, man. See you, Vulcan. Have a good night, man. Okay, so what we're gonna do for the last one... And yeah, the head-to-head -head racing online is so stupid, dude. Like, the one person launches before the other person goes. But we're gonna do a... Final race to end off the stream. And it's going to be the gauntlet. We're going to do it as a team race. We're going to do team races. We'll see how that pans out. That should be crazy. Let's see if you guys are ready for this. Wait, wait, no, no. Any class. Any class on the gauntlet. And we're going to do a team race. And Tyler, I might stream tomorrow. I'm still not 100% sure. This is going to be the end of this stream, though. We are going to do a long race, a long team race, using the 1999 Mitsubishi Evo. Yo, J Money, how are you, man? We're just doing some nice little 1999 Evo racing. While well, it was supposed to be clean, but it didn't really end up being that. Everybody was bumping each other the whole time. We gotta work on our cruising around here. Certainly gotta work on our cruising. We're ending off with a team race, and my, my chair that I'm sitting in started squeaking. I don't like that. <laughs> it squeaks when I turn around. Like, come on, man. Damn chair, I haven't had it that long. But thanks, Killakev, appreciate it. Hopefully this will start sometime soon, because launching event means let's take three hours. There's a lot of cars that they can add to this game, and hopefully they will slowly but surely. Hopefully they balance the teams out here because all the people that have S1 and I think there was one S2, maybe I'm wrong, but hopefully all those people end up being split up so this is an even race because I know a lot of people have the A-class build. Yeah, people can't drive at all, man. I, I just realized that in this stream. I, I didn't think a simple cruise would be so difficult, but it is what it is. Wait, why is this not... I thought we had a team race going here, but apparently not. But that's alright, I guess it's every man for himself.
Here we go. Well, this is where I'm going to lose to some people on this long straightaway, because my car's not as fast. Maybe I'm wrong. Nobody caught me yet. That's really surprising, actually. Wow, people are rage quitting right now. People can't handle the gauntlet. Yo, yo. Sorry, I stay very focused when I'm racing. and Sometimes I don't talk a lot. I'm trying to work on that. Sometimes I'm good, but other times I'm like really focused and really into the race. And this is the gauntlet, man. This is the gauntlet. I got a big lead on everybody right now. And some people are in way higher class cars than me. So I'm pretty happy with my position right now. But there's so much race left. Oh, I always do that right there. I hate that. Oh, 
A little breathing time on a straightaway. Woo! This race, man, it's pretty tough. I gotta say, it is a pretty tough race. Ah. Bad turn, bad turn. Lots of turns at the end here, man. Anything can happen. The main thing is not screwing up. As long as you don't crash or miss a checkpoint. I mean, that's like the biggest thing in this race. Oh, I feel like someone's catching me. I don't like that. 90%. I've been leading for a majority of the way. I cannot screw this up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, car.
pew, 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 pew. Boom, baby, boom. Damn, I'll take it. Look at this, against four S1 cars and three A-class cars finish in front. If that doesn't tell you how good my tune is, right there. Well, hello there, Shay. How are you? Damn, we made an S1 DNF? Oh no, they quit. Wow, an S1 quit early. I can't believe that. Now that surprises me. That surprises me. Damn, everybody DNF'd. Oh my goodness. That's right, Dank. I got you that time. <laughs> Some nice credit rewards. Wait, it gave us a 30 second head start? Wow, that's crazy. Either way though, I mean, there's a reason for that. I don't understand why they did that though, that's kind of stupid. I mean, the fact that you guys DNF though. <laughs> Because the 30 seconds starts when I finish, and you guys DNF, so that kind of makes up for those 30 seconds, I guess. That's craziness, though. Why is it? That's so stupid. No, but my point is, I got a 30 second head start. But I finished, and then you guys had 30 seconds to get to where I was, and then it didn't happen. That's what I was trying to say. I don't know if you understood that at first, but I don't understand why they give people head starts again. That was one of the stupidest things they did in Forza Horizon 3, I remember, and that was so frustrating. And I don't think you can turn off DNF. If I could, I would. I'm pretty sure there is no um, setting for that, but... That is really weird, and we're going to make sure that we all race in the same class moving forward, because that is extremely stupid. So you guys sat there for over 30 seconds after I started driving? I, I really don't understand that. That is so stupid. That makes no sense. Well, that's the last time we do an open class lobby. Oh, but, oh yeah, Shay, there's plenty of room in my club. If you would like to join, there it is, the Pew Pew Crew. Man, I hate that, though. That's really stupid. At some point in my community tab, I will post a little thing and give you five choices of what you'd like to see for a cruise like this. What car we should be using or what kind of cars, different things like that. Because I've gotten a lot of suggestions, a lot of different people, but... Yeah, that race, it's tough. I mean, there's so many crazy turns, and especially now in autumn. The last times I was racing was in summer, so there wasn't quite as much craziness with all the wet roads and everything. It's, like, a lot smoother to drive on, but that was, uh, that was pretty fun, though. I gotta say, that was a fun race. I actually really like the gauntlet. I didn't think I would, but I actually do enjoy doing that. But, um, that is gonna wrap it up for this stream. It is 10 o'clock, and I am tired. I did a lot today, a lot of running around and all that. I do appreciate everyone that was here, though. It was a lot of fun. We got to try and work on cruising more cleanly, though. I got to teach you guys how to drive clean. And next time, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to go into game chat so we can actually talk to each other. I feel like that'll be a little bit better of a way to communicate and stuff. But uh, we'll figure out what we're doing tomorrow. I may not stream tomorrow. We'll see what happens. But thank you, Kimmy. I hope everyone else sleeps well as well. And thanks for tuning in, though. Hope to talk to you tomorrow. And have a great day tomorrow as well. It is Friday. Happy almost Friday to everybody. 
But yeah, there was way too much bumping. Like, it's not even fun when everybody's bumping. Like, we just gotta have a nice cruise. We're all driving together. We gotta pretend it's real life. And that... I, I wish there was a way I could turn on damage for everybody, because then people wouldn't be able to bump as much, because they wouldn't be able to drive. So we'll see. But, alright guys, have a great night. Peace.